there, fans. Ray Morgan welcome you back for the next session of your heavyweight wrestling from Washington. Here's the lineup. Pedro Rodriguez battling terrible Tarzan Tyler. A one-fall match. Thomas Marin meets Smasher Sloan. Angelo Savoli in a one-fall battle against Hector Serrano. And our finale, Miguel Perez against Tony Newberry. We'll be all set with our next match in just a moment. coming from Sam Mason. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to National Arena and your all-star wrestling show under the promotion of Vince McMahon. To introduce the officials this evening, the timekeeper, Steve Johnson, physician in attendance, Dr. Rikoski, and the referee for this match, Vince DePaula. Ladies and gentlemen, Here's promoter Vince McMahon's wrestling lineup for this arena next week. Magnificent Maurice opposes Gene Kelly. Pedro Rodriguez meets Miguel Perez. Humberto Mercado takes on golden boy Arnold Skolan. Baron Mikel Cicluna tangles with Tony Newberry. Pete Sanchez is paired with Tarzan Tyler and Angelo Savoldi with Smasher Sloan. And in the dark match, the six-man tag bout, eight o'clock, I repeat, eight o'clock, there will be two referees. This match, ladies and gentlemen, is one fall. Introducing in this corner, weighing 231 pounds, Mexico City, Pedro Rodriguez. His opponent from Calgary, Canada, weighing 269, Tarzan Tyler. The rugged Tarzan Tyler and Pedro Rodriguez, who returned last week after an extended absence. of our fans uh, 
sitting near me just sent a note up that they had driven 80 miles to come up and see the matches. B.E. Jones, G.L. Kilmer, and J.J. Collins. We certainly hope, uh, well, I know that they're enjoying them. They told me that. And we hope that uh, whenever any of you fans are in the area, you'll make it a point to visit the very comfortable National Arena here in the nation's capital for the best in professional wrestling. Let me remind you that conveniently located the main one of the main streets in Washington is 16th Street it's right off 16th Street on Calorama Road between 16th and 17th on Calorama Road now the fans are getting cars and Tyler are going over oh. Why he gives it that little hip movement. That's a rather tight-fitting apparel that he has there. He has a little difficulty getting out of it. Down to his wrestling gear. Now he's all set to go. And so is Pedro Rodriguez. Matter of fact, Pedro Rodriguez goes out of the way of that clout that was aimed at his head. And Rodriguez sends him spinning to the mat. A beautiful shoulder haul by Pedro Rodriguez. And Tarzan Tyler doesn't care for that a bit. being caught in a trip out and take down by Tyler. Rodriguez gets rid of him in a hurry. He has no fear of the terrible Tarzan Tyler. And Tyler, helping that wrist lock and arm ringer with a handful of hair. Paula, not quite sure, but he warns Tyler anyway. There you can see it, and so does the referee. Over the top goes Tyler. Over the top again. And this time Rodriguez meets him. 
with a body lift and a jarring body slam. Boy and Pedro's making things plenty hot for the Canadian. Rodriguez made a mistake. He thought he had him softened up a lot more than he did. And Tyler making him pay for it now. Boy, Pedro's face must be aching from that going over. Drapes him over the top rope, getting him. Ooh, Pedro bounced his chin on that second rope on the way down. Tyler holds it until the referee gets right to the count of three. Full of face. Tyler smashing at the windpipe. Referee trying to give himself a chance to get Rodriguez untied. He's got him partially untied. If that doesn't stop Tyler from continuing his assault. Rodriguez paying him back. Rodriguez drives. Ooh. Rodriguez walks right into that. when this Tyler looks like he's ready for the cleaners, that's when he's the most dangerous. Tyler setting him up and softening him up. Reaching through the ropes, grabbing Rodriguez and bouncing his head right off that apron. Referee finally succeeding in chasing Tyler back. Tyler looming up there again. Gets up just long enough to be knocked back down again. Mouth stretcher by Tyler, and even though Rodriguez is tangled still in the ropes, he keeps it on until the referee almost reaches the disqualification count. Doubled Tyler up. And there, that did him a lot of good. That'll teach him some manners. And Rodriguez shows that he can use his foot too. And he's working on those leg muscles. Now he's using a knee. He chopped him down with a press. But the tough Canadian rolls him off. Rodriguez 
Rodriguez trying to get his breath. Tyler's not going to give him any chance like that. Brain crusher. <laughs> DePaula was very reluctant in raising Tyler's hand, but there wasn't much he could do about it. Here it is. The time, ladies and gentlemen, nine minutes and 15 seconds, and the winner, Tarzan Tyler. And still snarling, the ape man from Calgary, Canada, stalks out of the ring. And as you've heard, the winner of this match between Tarzan Tyler and Pedro Rodriguez is Tarzan Tyler. by Sam Mason. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is one fall. Introducing in this corner, weighing 230 pounds, Thomas Marin. In this corner, weighing 264 from Butte, Montana, Smasher Sloan.
wave before the fans, which I might add he very effectively uses to smash down the opposition. Well, I'm sure you wrestling fans around the country are anxious to hear about the extended tour of Bobby Davis that he has, according to his cablegram, successfully concluded. It reached all the way to the desolate areas of Mongolia, but he uh, left no stone unturned in an effort to come up with the strongest, biggest, greatest wrestler that he could find in an attempt to Dethrone Bruno San Martino. Ooh, did you hear that? Man, Smasher Sloan whipped Marin to the mat. A crash that echoed and re echoed throughout the arena. There he goes again. Tremendous shoulder drags. Boy, Sloan bounced, I mean, bounced Marin off that mat a couple of feet. That wasn't exactly legitimate, and that's what Betty Blake is telling him. Bobby Davis, uh, in addition. even gotten back into this country yet before he was advised that his boys, the Miller brothers, according to him, were taken advantage of. So he's going to have uh, quite a few things to talk about. I'm anxious to hear this Mongolian giant he's bringing in now. I'm sure you are too. Three stunning hip locks and Marin with a hip lock that crashes Sloan to the mat. Two, a wallop to the stomach and another hip lock by Marin. And that more than even the score and look at this, a frustrated smasher Sloan. Taking his anger out on the ropes. him off of the warning. Again, face first into the mat. Trying to get to his feet. Finally makes it. And Sloan undoes it all. One, two. And this time 
time, it's no warning. The count starts. Now Sloan released the hold briefly. And that's about all you can say for it. Marin helping his own cause now as he batters away at the ribs of Sloan, and Sloan gives it up. Sloan tricked him there. Sloan talking to the referee and watching slyly out of the corner of his eye. Watched Marin drop his guard, and that was all he needed. Checking to make sure it's no choke, and it isn't. Although Sloan can change it very quickly. He's through the ropes now. Says, let him on his feet. Sloan has different ideas. Sloan trying to say that he's not holding him. Let him hang his weight on Marin and driving that knee into the midsection of Thomas. Sloan flings him over the top rope. where he started from. And not feeling any better for it either. Again, Sloan catches him with a foot to the midsection. And this time the referee makes sure that Sloan stays out of the way. Marin's still a bit groggy from those trips to that hardwood floor of the arena. Watch out for him, Marin. This is when he's trouble. Sloan is watching him. You can bet on that. Well, he, Marin beat him to it. Whoa, and he is rattling him off the chin. Look at them go in there. Sloan doesn't know which way to cover up. Oh. There was the crowning insult. Marin lifting his foot and planting it right in Sloan's face, but Sloan had the final say of it. Sloan snaps him over. And Marin lifts him off. Sloan looks at Marin in amazement. He thought he had him there. He thought he had taken just about all the battle there was out of Marin. But Marin shows him otherwise. Marin with a leg scissors. tightened up on the left leg of Sloan. Sloan better watch his shoulders. One, two. And 
the fans are calling for Marin to pour it on and make him quit. Referee checks with Sloan, who says no, he's not about to give up yet. Bringing those thumbs into play. While Marin is asking the referee to check with him. And right back he goes. Sloan caught in the same trap. with the rugged Smasher Sloan. Sloan trying to lure Marin into that corner, but Marin wouldn't go for it. Now he has him along the ropes, battering away. haymakers, but Sloan's power was too much. His had the greater steam. Here's the press by the smasher. Nope. He figures he has him, so he's going to work on him a bit. Make him pay for some of those smashes that he took. Knee drop. There it is. Let's get the official time. The time, ladies and gentlemen, 13 minutes and 25 seconds. And the winner, Smasher Sloan. There you have it, the winner of this match between Smasher Sloan and Tomas Marin is Smasher Sloan.
again, here's Sam Mason. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is one fall. Introducing in this corner, at 218 pounds from Bronx, New York, Hector Serrano. His opponent from Parsippany, New Jersey, at 227, Angelo Savoldi. Savoldi and Serrano, just about as evenly matched as you can get, both in weight and size. Savoldi, the veteran of the two. All business. He wastes no time with any handshakes. He moves in there to get this over with. And Serrano has an idea of what to expect from that. The referee says break, and look at that jolt that Savoldi gives him with his shoulder on the order to break. Oh, Serrano taking a page out of Savoldi's trick book. And Serrano countering with a head scissors. using those trunks of Serrano's to try and get the leverage necessary to get keep those shoulders on the mat. The referee says you're choking him and Savoli says, oh no, no I'm not. The referee thought differently and started the count. That changed Savoli's mind too. Right in the back of the neck. That shook him up. And Savoldi rattles him again. Whoa! Serrano winging back on his own hook. And he's hauling him in from right field. A shoulder hole and Savoldi wants to calm things down a bit. It's a one-fall match between Hector Serrano and Angelo Savoldi. with the arm lock. A nice nip up by Serrano takes some of the pressure off, but he's still caught in there. That takes all the pressure off. Serrano with a snap mare. Serrano with a knee drive right to that cauliflower ear. And Savoldi covering up that bought bad ear. vigor of Hector Serrano. That'll help slow him down. Doubles him over that rope, sets him up and nails him. Did he get one in return? And there goes another. Serrano coming right back and both feet alongside the head of Angelo Savoldi. Knee lift. And boy, I mean, Savoldi went six feet in the air. Serrano 
dumps him again. Uh-oh. Watch out. Double axe handle right to the back of the neck. You're on the ropes, says the referee. Savoldi well aware of that. Got in a couple of good licks before that count got to three, too. To four, rather. Savoldi right back. Savoldi trying to put him all the way through the mat. Savoldi very angrily demanding, what's the matter now? What did I do? Hip lock by Savoldi. Arm lock. Double wrist lock now by Savoldi. Ooh, there's that that very tender ear. Those ribs. And look at this Serrano. Using his head, literally. Oh, he's got Savoldi covering up from all angles. He didn't cover that angle. Bear hug by Angelo. Angelo doubled him up and dropped him down with that one. Whoa, what a forearm by Serrano. A shoulder block by Serrano. Another by Serrano. Down goes Savoldi. Savoldi catches him on the way in this time. Body slam. Two. He's got him. holding that glowing cauliflower left ear. Boy, he pulled that one from the brink of defeat. Here's the time. The time, ladies and gentlemen, six minutes and 30 seconds. And the winner, Angelo Savoldi. And a very unhappy Hector Serrano shaking his head, taking his case to Sam Mason. It's not going to help him any because the verdict is official. Winner of this match between Angelo Savoldi and Hector Serrano is Angelo Savoldi.
Sam? Ladies and gentlemen, this match is one fall to curfew. Introducing in this corner, from Toronto, Canada, weighing 228 pounds, Tony Newberry. His opponent, from Puerto Rico, at 219, Miguel Perez. Davis calling uh, Miguel Perez out. The popular Miguel hasn't uh, been seen for a while. Miguel very, very fast, very tricky. Newberry pretty tricky too, but in a different sort of a way. Newberry is wearing a knee brace on his left knee, and uh, I don't know what this discussion is so prolonged about. Newberry pausing to have a few unpleasantries with the fans. Miguel was ready if there was any idea in Newberry's mind of trying to catch him unprepared. Newberry hang on to that sweater for a long time. Now he's ready to start the battle. And he suddenly finds that the fellow who was in front of him is now behind him. Freeze hole. And a look of disgust on Newberry's face as Newberry finds himself all by himself. And there goes Newberry. He's going to slow him down one way or another. And that was the first opening he had, so he went to work on it quickly. Again, Newberry opening up those ribs and battering away at Miguel's left side. Oh, 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 look at this. Miguel with the same situation, and boy, he belted him in there. This is our final match. Now, uh, Newberry has an opportunity of seeing how it feels to be on the receiving end. Chases him off that hold. <laughs> Me 
Miguel's got that left leg. And Newberry grimacing in pain. As Miguel throws his full weight in there. That's the knee with the brace on it that's taking the punishment now. Those who wish to help the orphans and other victims of the war in the tragic country of Vietnam should send their gifts to International Rescue Committee, Box 16, Times Square Station, New York, New York. That's IRC, Box 16, Times Square Station, New York, New York. The people of Vietnam need our help. He isn't uh, keeping Newberry from driving them home. Boy, and did he get turned over. Beautiful flying drop kick by Perez. And he's got Newberry. Stunned with this series of flying drop kicks. Newberry, I think, was... Uh, was trying to trick him there. He was feigning that he was hurt a lot more than he obviously uh, actually appears to be. But Miguel didn't uh, fall for it. So Newberry goes in, grabbing a handful of Miguel's face on the way. Miguel, as Newberry tries, as Newberry tries to repeat that backdrop, Miguel hooks him with a full leg Nelson and holds him there. And the popular Miguel Perez, after quite an extended absence, comes back to the battles here at the National Arena and makes it a very successful return. Let's get the official verdict. The time, ladies and gentlemen, five minutes and five seconds. And the winner, Miguel Perez. And the fans are quite happy with that. The winner of this match between Miguel Perez and Tony Newberry is Miguel Perez.
thought you'd like to join me in saying hello to a favorite of the wrestling fans all over the country, uh, the golden boy Arnold Scolan, and take a good look at him uh, after the wars are over, and uh, I might say successfully. Arnie, how are you? Ray, fine. Feel nice. good, and really enjoyed myself watching these matches tonight. Good. Nice to have you with us, and I know the fans are looking forward to seeing you in other parts of the country, too. Uh, thank you, Ray. Good. Arnie Scolan, and we certainly hope we'll have you back with us at the National Arena next week, same time. Until then, Ray Morgan saying to you wrestling fans, good night.